Who do we need to look out for today? This lad here. Yeah. He's number one supporter. Number one. <laughs> number one supporter. <laughs> you fancying it today? Yes. Playing well, aren't you? Yeah. I don't we're, know. We're on a roll. Yeah. We, we can't win. We can't win at home. You can't. Oh, the one last week and I went to you. If we score first, you'll be under pressure. This is Uncle yeah. Alvin. Yeah. Two nil to Rob. Rob going to win. Do you fancy it today? Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely three points. Yeah. What's your prediction then? Go on. Two one. Three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two. Really nice stadium, I don't know what it's going to look like inside but it's very nice. Not like the last time I came to Rotherham when Sean Gota was playing and got hammered. Right by the train track. A dog. In, in we go! James just pointed out that the scoreboard has got like a sc live scores going along it at the bottom. That's that's really good. They do do a good scoreboard in the ocean. Yeah, we've just gone one 0 down and it's been coming really. They've been a bit all over us. We're not playing very well. Here we are with the Yorkshire Seasiders. What do you think, boys, so far? Rubbish. I think Absolute rubbish. I think we're getting away with daily. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Grayson needs to change his plan. He ain't got a clue. Uh, he needs to start playing two up front instead of one. It's no good. And that Jordan Thompson, if he's wanting to go to Stoke, go. I'll wait outside the players' entrance and I'll give him a donkey ride. Spearing's playing well, though. Oh, Spearing's right. best player on the him. Yeah. We're not allowed to record games. Come on, we're a bit strict here, so we can't get much footage for you in this game. But uh, hopefully, we'll just play better second half. We're, we're still in the game, aren't we? Yep. We're still in it. Come we're on, the boys! Up the bike, Jim. Tangerine Army on the seats there. We've come out in the second half and uh, we've taken Kai Kai off, who we thought was playing really, really well. And we've brought the wonderful Joe Nuttall on. And uh, we're all in a bit of stage shock, aren't we? We've taken Thompson off and brought Tilt on. So two substitutions at half time. Oh. Just announced the attendance is 8,600 and 588 from Blackpool. Go. Too late for Feeney really, just got a great free kick. It's been coming. It's just, and it's been it's coming. coming. It's been coming. It's just, they're all over us really. Yeah. 
another loss to the Seasiders, I tell you. They deserved it. Better team on the day. Happy New Year. Happy 2020. We just got back from Rotherham and this is what we thought of it as we were coming out. We're coming out happy, aren't we? I want to cry. I actually feel like I want to cry. I just I just can't take this anymore. This is like four games on the bounce. So just just garbage, isn't it? We got exactly what we deserved, which was absolutely nothing really out of this game. Never looked like scoring, not all. <laughs> Honest to God, I mean, he just fluffed every line, didn't he? Every chance he had just fluffed. There was a woman sitting next to me, actually, in, in hysterics at Joe Lutter. I mean, literally in hysterics, she was crying. And you know, I've started having to take a deep breath, count to ten. Yeah, I know, it's just so. You can forget promotion this year, lads, if, unless we need major, major surgery, never mind just the odd one or two. We just, we just, we just didn't compete in the game. I mean, I was, I was saying to Jane, we started actually playing football in the last five minutes and actually give it a bit of a go at the end. But apart from that, we never looked like we were trying at all. It's just so poor. I can't, I can't even come out with anything positive from the game at all. I can't, I can't, Jay Spearing played well. Jay Spearing played well. Him says Matty, Matty had a great game. <laughs> Brilliant. That was a good cross from husband. So yeah, there's a, there's a few. There was a great cross from husband that just yeah that some who didn't get to the end of that ball. Was it not all on the line? Yeah, just didn't get to. Yeah, shame. Never mind. We'll. What's the next game that we have to suffer? Oh, Reading. Oh, Reading in the cup. That'll be another. Charlie Adam. With Charlie Adam. No chance. <laughs> Rip us to pieces. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. We also met little Matt outside. He's normally full and buzzing of excitement, and this is what he thought of it. What do you think, little Matt? What's your thoughts on um, it all? Well, I mean, God, stop laughing. What's a quality free kick at the top quarter? But I mean, I don't know what we're doing at the moment. Why, why can't we win? You know? We're playing well, we are playing well in some areas of pitch, we're not just putting them in the back of the net. And I mean, we can see it off two set pieces today, which is poor. They knew they, we knew they were going to put balls in the box, but I mean, one point for a possible 12. That's, that's, that must be one of the worst in the league, but yeah. personally, I'm, I'm bracing out. I know someone on Twitter started some hashtag bracing in, bracing out, I'm bracing out personally. Bracing out? Oh, Matt, oh, that's not good at all, is it? Even for Matt's bracing out. Oh well, Matt. On to the next game. On, yep. to, the, on to the FA Cup. Charlie see you, Adam. Luke. Yep. Hopefully he doesn't score another free kick against us. But yeah. Anyway, see you guys. See you. So. You've watched this video, you may have been there, you may have followed it on iFollow, you may have listened to uh, Larry's thoughts after the match and he's basically saying the things we want to hear. If players don't want to play for Blackpool, out you go, we're going to get some new players in. So I'm very confident in this January transfer that um, we're going to sort it out, we're going to get some some nice players. Yeah, because Larry doesn't seem to have options at the moment. No. He's got, we've got Nangela and Nuttall up front and that's it. We haven't got anyone else to, you know, we haven't got a pool of players to pick from. So, Larry, we need players, we need an attacking midfielder, somebody who can drive the ball forward, who wants to, uh, and we want a team that battles for the ball. You, in, in this division, you've got to fight for the ball. You cannot just turn up and stroll around as if you're going to win the game like what we've just witnessed today. You've got to really give it a good go. Post your thoughts in the comments below, what you thought of it, what you think of the whole Christmas period. This We, we just seem to be going and scrabbling for a draw or, you know, we're not really playing the great football that we, we want to we want football, we want creativity, we want chances, we want to be running at defences, we need to be splitting defences, we need to be scoring goals and it's just... And we want to be happy, we want to bring a smile to people's faces, we're coming out miserable aren't we? Yeah. I've even had a rant on that at the end of the video which you can probably see now as well. Jane was just making a point there, when... When we've gone to like Doncaster, they were so friendly and so lovely and the whole experience was actually beautiful. Well, you said on the way here, didn't you? You said, is Rotherham like Doncaster? And I just said, no, it's just... Yeah, Rotherham Doncaster's is special. absolutely nothing like Doncaster. They're the most miserable stewards here, the most miserable people. You weren't even allowed to pet you, pet a dog, were you? There was, no. there was a dog that Jane wanted to pet and no. she couldn't pet that dog. Move along, Because they're such no, a the no, such miserable way. bunch of... Honestly, they really were miserable stewards, miserable people, miserable place. We've enjoyed it not at all. So thank you very much, Rotherham. Thank you very much, Yorkshire. You've sacked every 
bit of joy out of us. We've not enjoyed it at all. So Rotherham, you're a bag of Hopefully you'll have a great 2020. Hopefully Blackpool will turn it around and we'll get somewhere near the playoff. The only good thing today was that Preston got beat 2-0, so that was good, wasn't it? Yeah, let's get, get shopping, Larry. And Bolton got beat 4-3 as well, which is always makes me feel good. So, good, good so, Bolton scoreline. Yeah, yeah. So, so there were some good things to take out of today, even if Blackpool were absolutely... We're a bit uh, worried about Charlie Adam, aren't we? Charlie Adam is he, he, he's on fire. We saw what he did to Preston and we're just yeah. wondering what he's going to do to gonna... our... To our bunch. Maybe they'll rest him. Jane's dragging me along to Reading and hopefully we're going to win. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate every one of you that keeps watching and keeping us going. We're almost at 1,500 subscribers and we're almost at a quarter of a million views. So things are absolutely going better than we'd ever imagined. So keep keep going with us. We're, going, we're off to Reading and uh, we're going to get a win. We're going to get a win, aren't we? Yeah, we are going to get a win, yeah. And uh, if you want to uh, read uh, my blog uh, and you haven't already, go to www.janestuart.co.uk and uh, for, uh, for an entertaining uh, view on our travels. And if you listen to radio, you can tune in to Falco's Radio. You can download the app or you can listen to it online and we'll put the links in somewhere around here somewhere. I don't know. Uh. Is it? No, it's down here. We'll, we'll write it on there, the, the Far Coast Radio, and you can tune in to Jane and I and the sports team on Friday from 6 to 7, 6 until 7pm on Far Coast Radio. See you there, folks. Bye. <laughs>